So Oliveira just lost? Just like straight up? I don't understand. We don't. Who is this? Who? Who are you, mystery player? Mystery Protoss. Okay, this is a person I've never seen in a bracket before. I don't think I've ever seen them in game. For like ESL Open Cup. Certainly haven't seen them for a KSL. But okay, our Protoss in the upper left hand corner of Oceanborn. It is Lemon. In the bracket going by Sheep. Apparently beat Oliveira. And in the lower right hand corner, we've got Nightmare. I mean, if Lemon beats Nightmare right now, this is we have we have like a like a smurf in here. We're gonna we're gonna find out this is stats or something. <laughs> you know what? You know who this is? This is Rain. That's what's happening right now. Liquipedia says Lemon is also known as Momo Ming. That almost does sound familiar, but I'll tell you, I've cast a lot of StarCraft over the last few years. Uh, I, I do not know this person. Maybe I, I've seen them in a bracket here or there. Momo Ming. That like almost sounds familiar. But not quite. I'm so intrigued. And Nightmare's PvP is incredibly good. I think Nightmare is one of the best PvPers in um in Korea. Maybe the best PvPer in Korea. I don't know often takes maps and, and series off of every other Protoss in Korea, so it's a little hard to say, but I'd be very impressed if Lemon was able to do something here. Both players are going for expansion, so no one base builds here. A little bit of expanding. Lemon trying to get a shield battery up. off that stalker but nightmare surprising surprising lemon with two more stalkers but just a little fun back and forth micro here nothing super committed uh lemon does scout the nexus so knows that nightmare isn't committed to this aggression a couple more stalkers warp in. And I think Nightmare is probably going to just have to back out here. Does not want to lose these stalkers. This is actually kind of dangerous. Ooh, the forest fields. No forest fields out of Lemon. That was that was scary. There are uh, two forest fields available. Actually, three forest fields available for Lemon. Plenty to segment off this little group of stalkers here. I'm surprised Nightmare is sticking around so long. Uh, the shield battery is super low. Not enough energy for an overcharge right now. Actually, there is in the main. So if Lemon gets desperate, he could pop that. But decides, Nightmare decides to back up. Both players are just going for Blink off the back of this. Uh, oh, very quick third base here from Lemon. Nightmare has not put his down yet. But Lemon just going straight for it. Lemon playing fearless.
That's, this is such an even game in a lot of ways. Both players going for their forges. Lemon's Robo is a little bit behind. Lemon way up on workers, just pounding out probes right now. I feel like Nightmare is just falling behind a little bit in that regard. All right, Lemon is going for a fourth base. That's so bold. But Nightmare is just kind of chilling right now. Does grab the Observer. Not trying to force his hand. Both players just macroing, going for charge, plus one. This is, again, such an even game. But that fourth base is crazy early. It is halfway done. And Nightmare is just now sending a probe out to put down that pylon. Doesn't quite spot the base, but it feels like he's thinking about the possibility that there might be a base. Oh, a recall to get in here as two adepts make their way into the natural and now into the main base. Gonna be able to grab a few probes here, heading down into the third. Oh, this is some really good damage for Nightmare. And now the Stalkers are gonna come in here and try to poke at this fourth base. It is finished though, so Nightmare I think is gonna be kind of sad to see. That Nexus is already done, but does kill eight probes, finally getting some damage done in Lemon's base. However, Lemon has had the uh, income lead for a long time in this game, so just now losing it, but even then, it's only temporary, as Lemon is already back up to even workers with Nightmare. And now Nightmare is going to fall back in a defensive posture, as Lemon looks like he wants to attack. I'm in a bit heavier on the charge lots. Nightmare can, of course, make use of Blinks back into a shield battery kind of counteract that but a bunch of stalkers moving to the top side they won't be here for the defense the shield battery gets taken down nightmare feels like maybe he's in some trouble but those blinks are going to be quite good probes getting pulled off the line though to fight against the stalkers that's going to be a lot of dead probes nine dead workers nightmare though does hold off the attack i think he killed the warp prism as well with those stalkers that went around back so lemon's gonna have to back up for any reinforcements but Taking a massive worker lead, and that worker lead is extra huge because Lemons had this fourth base to mine from for so long that it really, really matters. Nightmare is just significantly behind in workers now. Again, taking a big uh, income loss compared to his opponent. And even though Nightmare ended that engagement with a higher army supply, we see Lemon retaking that army supply lead very quickly. And, like, Lemon's already got plus two being chrono boosted. It's already three quarters of the way done. Nightmares is very far behind. Lemon is absolutely winning this game right now. I, listen, my flabbers are gasted. Nightmare is very good at PvP. And I would generally say Nightmare's very good at, like, one base PvP. Um, so macro PvP, I don't know if it's quite as strong for Nightmare, but still. <laughs> Nightmare is obviously the favored player here. And Lemon has already taken down Olivera. This is kind of insane. Nightmare fighting from, uh, fighting from behind. And this run by is going to get cleaned up without causing too much damage. Lemon looking for a potential fifth base over here. Taking his own, thinking maybe, maybe his opponent's taking his too. Nightmare will scout that and confirm there is in fact a base on the way. It will spot the army as well. Lemon looks like he wants to attack. He's 
got a bit of an army supply lead here. He did have a uh, an advantage in the upgrades, but he has lost it now. They are even on plus two, uh, and plus three is on the way for both players. So right now it's a very even game. I feel like Lemon did have a moment there where he was ahead, but now might come down to an engagement. A big blink forward from Lemon. I don't know about that. Fighting into a ton of blink stalkers. That means Nightmare can blink backwards, and Lemon could not there for a moment. The trades do end up being fairly even, though, as Lemon is forced to retreat. But I think that fight went a bit better for Nightmare, who so far has traded better, which is what he needs to do because, again, he's been mining less this whole game. Fighting up the hill, but the Observer here going to help Nightmare out a little bit. I'm continuing to push forward as some zealots run into this third base. They will get pushed away. Lemon not really taking any damage back at home. Nightmare just holding on. Shield battery overcharge being popped there to help out. God, this is such a close game right now. Lemon is going to have like a 15 second advantage on plus three it looks like. Not much, but they've been fighting so consistently that it, it might actually come into effect. Just those few extra seconds of having the upgrade lead. Shield battery is out of juice here for Nightmare, but his blink micro is not out of juice. He's looking quite strong. Even going to pick off a stalker as Lemon retreats again. Alba, what's up, Alba? We got to get that Italian food soon, dude. I'm always down for Italian food. You know me. Oh, I love you too. Good to see you in chat. All right, Lemon gonna attack in again. Nightmare though has a really good concave here. He's gonna take a very nice fight there. We see that army supply lead has been in Nightmare's favor for kind of a while. Part of that is that Lemon has more workers, but I feel like Nightmare has just been taking better fights. Yeah, the trade's been getting a little bit better over time here for Nightmare. It's now up 2,000 resources in those trades. Surprised we're not seeing any disruptors just yet. Although, as I say that, Lemon's Robo Bay is finishing up. So it looks like he's thinking about it. Now, Lemon's sixth base getting close to finishing here as Nightmare gets the fifth base saturated. Again, Lemon just keeping that income lead for so much of this game. There's those disruptors coming out. Robo Bay and a second Robo on the way for Nightmare as well. Both players are thinking about it. We've got the Dark Shrine here for Lemon. Some late game DT blinking action. First disruptors are out for Lemon. Got to keep an eye on any uh, big hits that might happen here. Nightmare should get a little careless. So here's a big engagement. A couple of stalkers do get hit by that uh, disruptor. I think Nightmare just scouted that base. Oh, not quite. There you go. He's going to see it now. As the uh, the cannons are just out of range of this observer, how how does he not actually detect that observer? Oh, it's over the vision blockers. I see. We got some disruptors going off here, trying to get some connections. First couple disruptors coming out for Nightmare too. Ooh, ooh, he wants to get a hit. Ooh, he wants to get it. Not quite gonna happen, but Nightmare comes in. Does kill one of those disruptors, forces Lemon to back up. <laughs> Nightmare getting the uh, Observer Speed, which is the counter to DT Blink, which is what Lemon's going for. Oh, and Nightmare's base gonna get spotted immediately, will be forced to cancel. 
because Nightmare is not nearby enough to, uh, to defend it. One Disruptor gets killed there. Nice pick off by Nightmare. RIP those probes. Nightmare has been pretty consistently picking off uh, observers. I guess both players have killed four, so. Good trades there. Vision's gonna be very important. Oh, a bold blink forward there from Lemon. Gotta be careful when there's disruptors about. Blinking forward is always a dangerous thing. And now Nightmare trying to segment these bases off. Disruptor Nova is coming out on both sides. Oh, not the best blink there out of Nightmare. Loses some stalkers and I think a disruptor or two as well. Nightmare gonna keep the disruptors on the backside here. Looking for some connections. Does get a couple of units. As he just wants to keep this force split. While Nightmare goes in and he is gonna be able to take down the six Nexus. But now Lemon is moving to the other side of the map. Can we see Nightmare recall? He doesn't have enough at this base, but maybe the natural. Oh, he's got to get back. Oh, the Disruptors. Disruptors, Nightmare. Nightmare, no. Losing all of his Disruptors. Lemon still has four available right now as the Stalker's trying to warp in. Not able to do it. Pylon getting shut down. Oh, a Disruptor pops out of the Robo for Nightmare, though. He gets a massive hit. Lemon going all the way into the main base. Gonna take down the Cybercore, but he is gonna take a very bad fight here. There's just no way for him to take a good fight anymore. And I don't know if this is gonna be worth it for Lemon. He's gonna go for the recall, gets some of the Stalkers out of there, but look at that supply. 80 to 107 army supply. Lemon also lost a base right before that started, but he is still up on workers. And he's going to go get a counter kill on a base right now. But finally, Nightmare has taken the, the resource collection lead for at least a little while. And Nightmare still holds the resources lost lead. And he's just taking some excellent trades. Probes moving across the map, getting caught. Not a lot of disruptors left on either side. In fact, they're all going to get killed, it looks like. So it's mostly just stalkers versus stalkers. Oh, there's a big disruptor hit, though. Blink forward from Nightmare. He's going to stop that Disruptor from connecting. Uh, just a bit of a trade in the middle of the map here. Nightmare will retreat. He had a big supply lead there for a little while, but now it's very, very close again. Crazy close, actually. I don't know how this game is so close. Problem for Nightmare is he is still on just these five bases, and even the fourth is mining out of minerals. Fifth base, not gonna be that far behind. That's a big problem. Lemon's gonna move into the third. Nightmare is gonna kill this base. He's got a couple of zealots over here that the DTs are gonna deal with. Disruptor Novas go back and forth here. The static defense is really helping Nightmare out. He's put a lot of money into that. And while the Stalkers will win the fight, it's just getting a lot of damage done on these Stalkers that Nightmare might be able to take advantage of as they try to retreat. Uh, and they don't really have anywhere to go. Lemon kind of caught between a rock and a hard place here. Nightmare has got a slightly bigger army, at least out on the field. Lemon needs to get these Disruptors up here, but the Disruptors of Nightmare holding that ramp. But oh no, the DTs blink on top. And Nightmare, where is your detection? He does have an Observer nearby. But he's got to get out of there. He was trapped between Stalkers and Blink DTs, losing all of his Disruptors. Lemon takes a very nice fight there. The army supplies equalize. But a bunch more Stalkers show up for Nightmare, and he does have detection over here, so these DTs are not going to be able to get too much damage done. As the Stalkers can Blink backwards, take a good fight against them. They're trying to move the Disruptors forward. Stalkers get out of there. Nightmare has now taken a 20 supply lead. Lemon down a lot of workers at the moment, 59 to 71. And it feels like Nightmare has clawed his way back into this game. His sixth base is almost done. And if he can get this up and mining with a lot of those probes that are over mining uh, at his other bases right now, 
I think he'll be in a great spot. It's exactly what he's doing, sending those probes over there immediately. Oh, there's a DT hitting it, though. That's such an annoying thing to deal with right now, but Nightmare has a spare observer. It's got observer speed. He's going to send this over there and deal with that situation. Taking off some probes on the other side of the map. Lemon going for the counterattack. It's only a couple of cannons left here, but even just a couple of cannons is helping out. Going to be able to kill one or two stalkers before they go down. Both players killing each other's fourth bases. And Nightmare not going to go home. Oh, Lemon is just going to tap out. Maybe seeing just how many stalkers there were, Nightmare ended up ahead about 30 army supply at that point kind of insane actually insane game lemon was absolutely in the lead for big parts of that game but once it started getting to blink stalkers versus blink stalkers it felt like nightmare was just taking more and more good trades none of them were like incredibly huge good trades um but it was just like a little bit of value here a little bit of value there and it meant that that extra mining that Lemon had done was just equalized in the amount he had lost. And eventually, that became a bit of a problem for him. Anyways, we're going to get into game number two. The box, though. He loves his box. He loves his box. What can I say? Can't blame the man. He loves a good box. You know what I mean? I feel similarly. That's why we get along so well. Spawning in the upper left-hand corner of Gold Nora. Gold Nora? I feel like I haven't seen this map in so long. Uh, we have Nightmare in the blue. His opponent in the lower right-hand corner, new to me. Apparently very good at this video game, looking extremely strong today. It is Lemon. I mean, honestly, with the way he just played in that game, I completely see how he could take a couple of games off of Oliveira. Oliveira is very strong, uh, but I feel like part of his power is often that he plays a little off-kilter from what a lot of the pros expect of the meta. And he's so good that even if he takes, like, what would technically be a disadvantage, it can put him in a weird spot where, uh, you know, the other player might not be expecting him to be able to do something that he can do. I don't know. Watching Oliveira, I'm more surprised by stuff than I am watching a lot of the other pros. But that does leave him open to other weaknesses, and I feel like a player like Lemon might be able to take advantage of that. If Oliver is, in, is also not expecting his opponent to do something. Things can get weird. I don't really know what happened in that series, but... Just always shocked to see Oliver lose to somebody I, I don't really know. Now, game number two here. Nightmare dropping a little cheeky pile on out of the map. I'm going to see if anybody decides to go for a one base play. As this is Korean PvP, one base play is always viable. Looks like that might not be the, the, uh, the case here, though. Nightmare's posturing to take a Nexus, as is a Lemon. I think Lemon saw that pylon. Yeah, it's a nice scout there. The confirmation that your opponent's pylon is just chilling outside the base. It's not a big deal. Oh, Lemon actually put down a pylon here in the wall. Those two adepts are going to run across the map. Nightmare getting out a couple of pylons. Uh-oh. 
Those first two shots not going down on the Stalker, and that means that Lem's actually going to win this fight a little bit, but only a little bit as the Probe is helping out. The Adepts are blocked out back at home for Lemon. Oh, you know what? Sentries can no longer get easily killed by uh, by Adepts. That's a nice change here for Lemon. Once upon a time, these sentries would be in a lot of trouble, but not anymore. Yeah, more stalkers coming across the map, but Nightmare will push them away. The shield battery going to heal that guy up. Ooh, and the Adepts from the backside going to come in with the Ali oop trying to body block that stalker, but at least should be able to force the kill on that one, if not this one as well. It looks like it's going to be two dead stalkers. However, the two sentries and the two stalkers are going to come out and try to help out against this. And we'll force Nightmare to back up. Lemon's got Blink on the way and drops a Dark Shrine. In the meantime, Nightmare... Going for a two-gate robo opening. Gonna go for a warp prism. And I guess try to put some pressure on, maybe get some harassment done to his opponent. Let's see if Lemon is ready for this. Sometimes the, uh, the early warp prism can really throw you off. And Adepts, as we know, can kill probes mighty, mighty quickly. However, this means Nightmare is going to be a lot later to blink than his opponent. Uh, Lemon's blink is already almost done. And that's a problem. Blink stalkers versus non-blink stalkers. It's a dangerous game. Two adepts are going to sneak in. Lemon does have a couple of adepts here, which can help out. But Lemon is just going to tap out. Oh, no. Well, an unfortunate and anticlimactic ending there as Lemon... Just realizes that those Adepts are not going to be able to do uh, enough defense in time. And the two Adepts in the Warp Prism of Nightmare will kill so many probes. Uh, and just decides to tap out there despite an excellent first game and a great victory over Oliveira. Lemon showing us something, uh, something good here today. But Nightmare will be the one to move on to the semifinals.